We're talking about the difference between injection molding and compression molding. Main advantage of injection molding is typically going to be high speed and you're making thinner wall parts and where compression molding is it could be longer cycle times, thicker parts. With injection molding it's going to be under high pressure so the, the mold costs, the initial costs are very typically going to be much higher than uh, a low pressure compression mold. Typical injection molded product you might see are uh, for example milk crates. Uh, we've got a lot of different uh, ribbing structures uh, which is really good for injection molding. And on the compression molding, you'll typically see our thick uh, mats for, say, gyms or doormats, uh, where thick parts. And uh, that's an uh, example of compression versus injection molding. What we do here at Plascon is injection molding. Uh, we, tip we have 10 injection machines, which range in different sizes. Machines will range from uh, 100 tons up to 1,000 tons. What we've done here in the past is we've actually been able to redesign products that are typically compression molded. Uh, the main advantage for injection molding is the cost per piece is much lower than it is with compression. So by doing re uh, part designs, uh, redesigning the part to uh, reduce part weight to core out uh, the products, we're able to actually uh, convert a compression molded part over to an injection molded. And typically we'll see up to 50% reduction in cost when compared to compression molding.